Yeah, you're, you're next. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Dr. Bustani, and as a member of the Ways and Means Committee, as, as we are, Dave and, and Dr. Bustani and myself, and a member of the Trade Subcommittee, we're delighted to be launching this caucus with a coalition that's already been assembled from representatives of the various countries involved in the negotiations, our ambassadors who are here with us uh, today. This is an important opportunity, you know, for the United States, but also all the countries in the Asian Pacific uh, trade realm to do a bold, ambitious new trade agreement. Since the passage of the three bilaterals in this Congress, it's been a little bit anemic as far as the trade agenda, you know, for this administration and for this Congress. It's time for the United States to get back in the game. And we have been but through the negotiations this year that we hope to be able to conclude at the end of this year or early next year. Uh, as Dr. Bustani indicated, uh, Ambassador Froman has been very accessible uh, and willing to meet with us here on Capitol Hill to discuss the details of what's being uh, discussed. I think that's going to be important as we move forward as members of Congress to have that transparency, that access to be able to raise issues and ask questions. In fact, as chair of the New Democratic Coalition, a group of 53 moderate centrist uh, pro-growth Democrats, we're going to be having a briefing on TPP a little bit later this afternoon uh, for the wishes of the members that want to be more involved in more information. And that's the only way it's going to work. I also agree with my colleagues on Ways and Means. We need to get Trade Promotion Authority up. We need to figure out a way to get that reauthorized. Every administration has asked it. The current administration wants it as well. Uh, many of us on the Democratic side would also like to see trade adjustment assistance included in those discussions surrounding TPA. We feel it's the right thing to do for dis displaced, dislocated workers that are impacted due to the, the effects of trade. Uh, it's not always a win-win situation, we realize, but um, for just 4% of the world's population, uh, we have to have a, a robust trade agenda, one that elevates standards upwards rather than seeing a race to the bottom. And I know that's a goal that all the countries in TPP share, so we'll look forward to working you know, with members of this caucus, with my colleagues on Ways and Means, my good friend Greg Meeks, who's also a New Dem member and very active on the trade front. In fact, Gregory is... Uh, heading uh, as one of the chairs of the Trade Task Force in the New Democratic Coalition. We know we have work to do, but let's get started. Thank you.